Hello friends, family, and the 2019 preschool graduation class. I'm super excited to be here today and I'm honored to be your commencement speaker. I know that this year has been so full of learning and growing and it has prepared you for today. You're no longer just the cute little kids roaming up and down the hallways with your, with your little rope. You are big kids, you've done it. And I'm here today to celebrate you, to encourage you to be thankful and to remind you to trust in the Lord. As a dad of past, present, and future train station warriors, I have been so honored to be a part of your class this past year. We've laughed together, we've cried together, we've taken photos, we've played with Legos, and we've read tons of books. It has been super exciting. But I know the one thing above all that you have learned this past year is that you have been building a solid foundation on Christ Jesus, and that's the most important. You are all super inspiring as well. The other day I was reading some of your what I want to be when I grow up pictures, and I am super excited for what you want to become. I mean, who wouldn't want to be a veterinarian that specializes in unicorn treatments? You're gonna be amazing. You've all worked so incredibly hard to get here. I mean, just a few years ago, you were getting your diapers changed, and now you're getting ready to change the world. I'm sure some of you are super excited for kindergarten, and there are some others that might be a little scared. But I've got two things to help you as you prepare for kindergarten next year. Kindergarten is going to teach you new and exciting things, and some of those things may be hard. Be thankful. Be thankful for the process. Be thankful for the new friends. Be thankful for the, the new assignments. Be thankful for the growth. It may not be easy all the time, but be thankful because it's making you better. It's making you smarter. It's making you stronger. It's making you bolder. Be thankful. Be thankful for Jesus in your life. Be thankful for what he's done, what he's doing, what he has yet to do, because he's only starting on what he has planned for your life. Be thankful for your parents. God has put parents and people in your life to shape you, guide you, and help lead you to becoming who God has planned for you. It's not easy for us parents to watch our babies grow up so quickly, but we love it, we're proud of it, and we can't wait to watch you become what God has planned for you. The second thing is to trust in the Lord. Proverbs 3, verse 5 and 6 says to trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Lean not in your own understandings, but in all ways acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. Over the next few years, you will begin to learn to make new decisions. You'll decide things for yourself and you'll become more confident in that. That's a great thing. But remember to trust in God. Another thing you'll begin to do is ask questions. And asking questions is a great thing. In fact, a great leader named John Maxwell said it best when he says this. Good leaders ask great questions that inspire others to dream more, to do more, to think more, to learn more, and become more. And I know that each one of you is going to become something incredible. No, someone incredible. Don't always trust in your own understanding, though. Trust God. He's got you. He's going to lead you and guide you if you simply let him. You are the future, and that future starts today. If you remain thankful, and if you trust in the Lord to lead you, he'll do it. And he's got an incredible journey designed and crafted for each one of you. But let that start right now. Thank you, friends. Thank you, parents. Thank you, faculty. And thank you, preschool graduation of 2019. Let's hear it for our students.